friends? Are you ready for another one of Jesus' stories? Last week, we learned how Jesus was like a good shepherd. Today, we will learn how God is like a good father. And that's the name of God we will be focusing on today, Father. God describes himself as our father back in the Old Testament. One such place is in the book of Isaiah. It says in Isaiah 63, 16, You, O Lord, are our father. A good father is someone who loves his children and wants to forgive them and provide for them. Jesus explains this using a story that he tells the disciples. Let's take a listen. Jesus told this story about a father who loved his sons just as God loves us. A father owned a house and fields and had two grown sons. Someday each of the sons would receive a share of the land, but the younger son didn't want to wait. Give me my share now, he said to his father. The father was sad, but he agreed. Then the younger son sold his land and took his money and left. He went to another country far away. He wasted all his money and soon it was gone. Now what would he do? He was getting hungry and he needed money to buy food. He got a job feeding pigs. Here piggies, he called. Supper time. The son was so hungry that he wished he could eat the pig's food too. But no one gave him anything to eat. One day, the son sat down to think. My father's hired servants have plenty to eat, he said. I will go back to my father. I will say, Father, I have sinned against God and against you. I'm not worthy to be called your son anymore, but please take me back as one of your hired servants. So he got up and began the trip home. His father was waiting for him. Every day his father had been watching for him. The father saw his son while he was still far off. He felt compassion for his son and ran to meet him. The father hugged and kissed him. Father, I'm not good enough to be your son anymore, the son said. But the father called to his servants and said, Quick, bring the best rope, put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet, and fix a great feast. It's time for a party. Because my son, who was lost, is alive again, he has come home. The older son, working out in his father's field, heard the sounds of the party. What's going on, he asked. Your brother has come home, the servants told him. Instead of being happy about this, the older son felt angry and jealous. All this work I've done for you, he said to his father, and you have never thrown a party for me. But my brother wasted your money and now you are having a party for him? Son, you have always been with me, the father said, and everything I have is yours. We have to celebrate and be glad because your brother was lost, but now he is found. Have you ever fallen asleep in the car at night? Maybe on the way home from visiting your grandparents or your cousins? It's past your bedtime when you get home and your dad scoops you up out of your seat. You can feel his strong arms as he carries you to your bedroom and tucks you into bed. You wake up just enough to smile and say goodnight. One of God's names is Father. We have fathers on earth, but God is our Father in heaven. Even before the world began, God planned to send Jesus to die for our sins so God could forgive us, adopt us as his children, and be our Father. God is a good Father. He cares for us and gives us good gifts. The beautiful world we live in, the people we love, and so much more. God carries us through every day, just like your dad carries you from the car to your bed. The everlasting God is your place of safety. His arms will hold you up forever. Deuteronomy 33, 27. One day, Jesus got a message that his friend Lazarus was very sick. But rather than going to see Lazarus right away to make him well, Jesus stayed where he was for two more days. What was he waiting for? Come back next week to find out. Bye, friends. Dear God, I'm so glad you are my Heavenly Father. Thank you for all the ways you are a good father to me. Amen.